All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look at our top three big stories of the day. The first one we're going to take a look at here, Whistletop Ukraine Tour. That continues throughout the Erie region. The region is one of 10 stops for members of this Ukraine tour who are looking for continued support in the war of Ukraine. And our Elspeth Meisner has been keeping us up to date and has been following this story, and she has the latest also coming up tonight at Erie News Now at 6 o'clock. The second thing that we're going to take a look at here, Pennsylvania Transportation Secretary visits Erie, a chance for agencies to network and to talk about some of the industry trends. And finally, it's having to do with summer, summer safety and summer travel, a time to really get out and enjoy that sunshine. But just for how long we do have tips from emergency care experts on keeping yourself cool and healthy throughout the heat. So as we move to the main desk here, I've been looking forward to this walk here with Ariana Meyer. I've seen it time again and time again with uh, Eva Master Matteo and Ethan Kibbe, but that was the first time I got to do that. Let's chat a little more about some of these stories here. The Whistletops for Ukraine tour had members of the German Marshall Fund and the Howard Buffett Foundation meeting with Erie leaders and residents to learn more about the region. The day began with a meeting between the New American Council, Mayor Joe Schember, and the German Marshall Fund. The two groups discussed how Ukrainians can support can get support once they arrive in Erie and after City Hall it was off to Troyer Farms in Waterford where farmers from Birch Farms, Troyer Farms and Mobilia Farms all learned about the struggles that farmers in Ukraine are currently facing. The tour made its way back to the city of Erie where the group got a tour of Logistics Plus and learned about the aid they've provided since the start of the war and the tour also made a visit to right here Lily Broadcasting ending the day with a stop inside City Gallery where they had a chance to meet local business owners. In other news, police are investigating a workplace shooting in eastern Pennsylvania that has left two people dead. Delaware County authorities say the shooting happened at a family owned linen business this morning in Chester. That's outside of the Philadelphia area. Investigators say at least five people in total were shot. Three survived and were taken to a local hospital, one in critical condition. Police saying the shooting took place both inside and outside the business and a handgun was used. Police say the suspect was taken into custody after leaving the scene. And investigators added that the suspected shooter had issues with colleagues in the past. There were no signs, advanced signs rather, for the shooting that took place. With